all the shit that's been done to me, I'm still not going to try. I can't be mean. No, because you it. weren't raised to be ill-mannered and rude. Yes. and I had the best parents. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. You know, when you, when you, when we had the discussion about, like, the cold, the cold Asian personality, oh, it's not only the men. It's not only the men. No, he's horrible. No, I've met a lot of, a lot of the females that, know, the that are like that. Is, I don't care. No. You're cold, you're cold. Like today. Don't get off my back. <laughs> I don't care. Like today, I, I, I went to a Jersey Dollar in Garfield because I needed heavy-duty uh, food storage containers. Just because of the thunderstorm, Eileen and, and William, the Indians that own this place shut the central air off completely and opened the two front doors. It was hot as, and humid as hell. All right. Jersey Dollar. Jersey Dollar. It's like a, it's like a, a, a discount. It's like a discount store. Not, not a dollar store per se, but. Yeah, that too. No, but it's like I walk in there and it's like a steam bath. I'm sorry, but they may be an old eight thousand year old culture, but they have contempt for their customers. They they have to be the stingiest bastards around. I said to them, I said to the manager, "Where's your central air conditioner?" Just because it's thunderstorming out, that's an excuse to, to shut it off completely and open both doors. You have customers. Oh, it was like, he didn't say nothing. He, he like smirked. They know what they're doing. They're so stingy and they're such penny pinchers. Yeah, but they're not supposed to do that because they have food. They have perishables. Right? Oh, I couldn't get over it. You know, it's really, it's incredible how, how they like just scoff at, at their customers. How cheap can you be? It's just because it's thunderstorming outside. That doesn't mean. I mean, it's not summer. Oh, that's Jackie, right? Yeah. No, I'm saying just because it's thunderstorming out, that doesn't mean it's not summertime. As an excuse to shut the central air conditioning off. Well, let's be honest. The seasons have changed. You can't go by seasons anymore. But it was hot and humid inside their store. That's the point. It doesn't matter. It can change. You can't go by seasons. It's all changed. I know. But, but, like, but, but do you see what they ha what they own a retail store? They shut it off completely. They and, don't, and they open the front doors. They don't know how to run a business then. Yeah. And then when I walked inside, like I told you, Eileen. You've got, you've got to judge it by the day. It's a freak day. It's cold or it's too hot or whatever. Okay, turn it on, turn it off, whatever you have to do. Yeah. You can't go by when well, it's summer. It doesn't matter, don't you? Well, get? well, it's still humid outside. And but it wasn't for a good hour so earlier when the wind blew through with the rain. That was temporary. Humid, that's what I mean. You can't judge things. That's my point. Yeah. Things change. I know, but there are stingy bastards that well, own a business that, that, that's a whole different that topic. have that's, contempt for their customers. That's stingy people. That's just a bad thing. Like I said, my dad always said, you just can't get through to people. And you tell them, you tell them, yeah. you tell them, and they keep, well, but that's this, well, but that's that. I don't care. Don't you get it? Yeah, you just simply... They just don't understand. I mean, all they had to do was turn it down if they felt that well, it wasn't... That's, that that's the least of our words. Yeah. They can but, screw or go out yeah. of business for all But I that care. goes back to the third world Asian men oh, Joe, mentality. He's got less than 10 people. You know, people. he's not the only one. Indians, too. He's got less than 10 people in his so-called lectures, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It was like a freaking steam bath, Eileen, when I went, went in there. This I wasn't Asian comfortable. This gentleman who gives supposedly lectures, Joseph, does he ever get more than 10 people in his lectures? Jeez. Look at that. Right into a big no. Yeah, and, he, and, and I know he has good clothes. He's, he's full of crap. I bet I he's... Know. 
A guy that old must have de some decent dress clothes in at home. Maybe he has nothing. He just talks like he has something. He might have nothing at all. Is Joseph a big exaggerator? There you go. Here you go. Is Joseph the Asian gentleman we know here from McDonald's? Is he for work? Well, Jimmy, I'll tell you, it's not delaying, and then he uh, responds, is it? It's going right into it quick. Yeah, okay. that's what's good about a, a, a decent weighted pendulum. Yes. But, I mean, like I was telling Eileen, Eileen who? You, I, you have a retail business, you, have, you depend on customers. Make them feel comfortable. Don't have a hot s s steam bath for a store. No, I don't agree. Hurt your customers. <laughs> Destroy them. He <laughs> did like that. Take their money, and when they pass out, <laughs> drag them out the door to throw them through. Oh, don't forget, turn them upside down to all the... the you, you hurt your customers. Pick their wallet. You tell them, I don't want you to ever come back. I got your yeah. money now. Yeah, but but don't forget, you got to take their wallet and open it up. Well, wait for a lot of how many don't you got their wallet. <laughs> And when you open yours, the moths fly out, so, you know. Have you ever seen a cheapskate's wallet before? Yeah. George, uh, on Seinfeld, George Costanza did a satire. He did a satire. Uh, on that fact. Well, if it's on listen. Seinfeld, Eileen, it's got to be gospel. Well, listen. Bob the accountant and my grandfather. Oh, gee, Bob the accountant. Did, no, they did the same thing. They had rubber bands around their wallet every, in every direction. Yeah, how stupid that is. And guess what else was in there? Expired coupons. They don't, they were hoarders. Eileen, they were hoarders. They, no, no, you're wrong. I think I know what they were doing. It's a psychological no, disorder. No, no, no. They need to be ex no. assassinated. No, They were waiting for their first time machine to be invented so they could go back in time and use those coupons. Wait expired. a minute. I think that's he's what right. That's it. Interdimensional they travel. They were waiting for the time machine. Why do they have expired coupons? Because they're nuts. I think, I think Eileen, because they're a little crazy. No, see, the hoarding mentality is that everything, they're afraid to part with anything. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait They think wait, everything wait. has value. Wait, wait, wait. Way back when it was called Genghis Khan they should be and the Mongol Horde. Yeah. Were they hoarders too? Yeah, they hoarded, they tried to hoard the world. Oh, is that what it was? They tried to take, they tried oh, to conquer the voids. We can't have this, Eileen. Don't forget Kublai. We must invent this time machine. Don't forget Kublai Khan. So these guys, uh... Or Kukla Fran Ali. Kukla Fran and Ali Khan. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm glad you mentioned the word time machine. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a long one. No. What? Somebody okay. somebody posted a banner online. What would you rather have? A um, um, million dollars, a time machine, or true or your soulmate, true love. I picked time machine, and you know why? Because then you can go. Exciting. Then you can go into the future by one week, get the winning numbers of the Powerball lottery, then go back to your time. And you still write the wrong ones down. And put no, you gotta you gotta put you gotta jot the right ones down. You do the wrong ones. Digits. He would write the wrong ones. I didn't trust me. But listen, I, I blinked. I didn't see. I didn't listen, see. Listen, you can do this continuously. Go into the future, get the Powerball numbers, go back to your time, buy the tickets, win, and then do it again and again and again, and you'll end up being a multi-trillionaire. You hear that? And then guess what? Are you taking notes in between bites? And this what? Guess what? Look, 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 look she can't. And guess Boy, what? Boy, she's sucking that baby and, down. And look how she's sucking it down. Whoa! And guess what? Look at the cream all over. It's enticing, isn't it? When you see that. <laughs> no. And guess what? You know, Eileen, I must tell you that. <laughs> You'll have so many gold digging groupies if you're a multi trillionaire. Yes. They'll be wanting, man, God, oh, man, God. Ooh, they'll be sodging your back you know, everywhere you go. Is there anything that I can do? That happened when I was, I had nothing. Oh. Um, well, it was a money well, how come you don't care about it anymore? Seriously, all I've been through, Jimmy, and the drugs. I know. You know what? Believe me. This whole con care. this whole concept of the of the system screwing you over. Yeah, you, you don't care. It, 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 takes, it takes all your drive away from you. It aggravates you. It frustrates you. It makes you, know, you give up. But it aggravates me too. The most because, exciting thing in both of our lives is watching her chew. <laughs> That's pretty sad. All right, isn't that's all we've got left? <laughs> chewing, chewing on a chicken. <laughs> is that what the hell that is? Or is that the classic chicken? Both, I got them both. Hey, what is I, classic? Huh? It's been around for a long time. You know better than to ask that. Did what? 
Did you buy a Mega Million ticket? No, he don't have yes. a time machine. He did, yeah. Yes. He, he doesn't have a time machine. It's going off tonight, right? Well, I'm going off too. I don't know. Wait, did she say? Did she? Did she? Did she, it's going tonight, right? did she say it's going up tonight? Yeah. Or off did tonight? Did you buy one? How many? <laughs> How many did you buy? Uh, I didn't buy any because I'm waiting for the time machine. Well, I, I strongly doubt you'll get a phone call what about saying, Mr. Madonna, we know you didn't play, but we played for you. What about a genie? you won. What about a genie and a lamp? Yeah, you'll win that too. He's blue. And he looks like you, but he's blue. And he well, comes I've up. I've been blue before. <laughs> What, blue balls or oh, just that, they, sad? Y'all got both. I could picture a genie coming out like you, man guy, going, Ah, uh, you have three wishes. No, I'd be like, what the fuck do you want, man? Hey, listen. I'm busy. You know, I'd say, come on. You know what most people don't say no. when they have a genie in front no. of them? You wish for more wishes. Uh, and guess what the genie's name is? What if they say they can't do that? The genie's name is Aloysius. No, it's not. Isn't that funny? It's out of wishes. <laughs> it's, good, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. It's good. Yeah. Good. What are you on now? The second burger yet? Oh my God! You you're really keeping tabs you on both her. Both already? Yeah. Whoa! You're sure keeping. You're but sure. You, the fries haven't been touched. What are you doing? You are sure well, keeping. No, I don't mean rub them. I mean eat them. You are sure keeping tabs on her gastronomic activities. Yeah, well, take care of people. You know. No, I I, I know. I'm trying to get you to slow down and stop talking so much. We just calmly. No, I, I had to tell you. To, I, I, to I had to tell you the genie story. You didn't have to, Jimmy. Jimmy. Do you smoke? Because uh, you know why? Jimmy. No, I don't smoke. No, he doesn't smoke. You know why I had to tell him the genie story? No. Because he hates me. Most because people. Because he hates me. No, no. Because most people online never think of more wishes as their first wish. The second wish should be more wishes, and the third. So the wishes don't stop. You know, most people never think of that. Not even man Make God. it a good question. Make it a, an honest. Don't play with the thing. Make it honest. It's got to be real. Oh. Um, oh, gee. I heard Paul Ryan speak about what Donald Trump did. Is this going to get much worse for Donald Trump with the Republican Party? Oh yeah, because no, I never seen Ryan so so livid attacking another Republican like he did with. No, it's not just him. It's it's all the top Republicans. Well, by the same token, what choice do they have? The guy's an asshole. He looked like an asshole. He's selling out America. If you side with him, you're an absolute idiot moron. Well, all the racists just love him. Who? You know, all the racists just love Donald Trump. Racists. Racists. Well, like, like David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan? Oh, Pe of course. People like that. Oh, the, they love that. The yeah. ones that want to volunteer. You want those kind of people on your side? To go to the border and tackle the... Uh, yeah, the morons in it. They should not have the right to vote either. They should not have it. And you know what they do? They hide behind the Constitution. They call themselves constitutionalists. Oh, I'm so sick of this law. I have my rights. I'm sick of your rights. You have Your rights are governed <laughs> and they have limitations too. Just the right of freedom of speech. You can't do certain do, things with it. Do, do these do these Trumpanzies that, that I call them Trump supporters? Wait, wait, can I interrupt you? Do, the, do all of our rights, we, our so-called rights, have limitations? Do all of our so-called rights have limitations? There you go. Does it give you the right to do anything? That's the point. Oh, yeah, it goes into a definite, yeah. yeah. doesn't give you the right to do anything. As they say, freedom of speech, you don't have the right to run into a crowded theater and scream fire. You have limitations. That's true. It doesn't give you the right to be an absolute idiot and moron and hurt people. Or oh, these people, I have my rights. No, you don't. Or, or, or you are governed by certain by bylaws. Okay, so I tell them, shut and, up. And I'm sure Pee Wee Herman was not the only one that did that oh. in the porno theater. Really? You don't think? No, they just targeted poor Pee Wee. But um, well, I'm pulling for him. Instead of, instead of <laughs> that was very good. Instead of letting Pee Wee be, <laughs> that was very good. Um, the oh, are do these um, no idiotic? Uh, no, are, 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 okay, are, go ahead. Are, are Trump's is Trump's so-called base the most ignorant? 
of supporters there is. Is Trump's so-called base, base the most ignorant of supporters that there ever is, or maybe even was? Or could possibly be. Yes, there you go. The Klan, David Duke, the mm -hmm. whole bullshit, the, the neo-Nazis. There you go, Jimmy. Do they use... There you go. Do, do the Trump... Uh, extremists, right-wing extremist supporters, do they use the Constitution as and the Bible as a front oh, for their yes. for their wickedness I, and hatred? Oh, I know that, but I'm going to wait for the amulet to do it. Yeah, I like when the amulet answers. Yeah, what's verification? Well, but I like the feel of the swing. Well, you ain't got a thing if you ain't got the swing. Do what, 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 do Oh, no, now we're talking her language. She has never been so quiet. <laughs> I'm going to bring a pork loin tomorrow and stuff it in her mouth. <laughs> you mean a whole a whole pork loin? Here. <laughs> you ever see this? You should You've see. You've never been so quiet. This is so good for yeah. us. Oh, did you have that yinling uh, lager last night? No, I'm going to have it when I go home. Oh, okay. But it's, it's chill. Well, I've already had it, so I know it's good. Yeah, but it's it's cold. Anything without the name Indian. No, no, don't worry. Oh. But it's in the it's in the, the fridge. At the time when you said it Indian, I knew right away. So, oh, no, India pale. Musty, but I knew right away that yeah. Indian is going to be a musty taste. And you called me back. But it and wasn't said, from. Oh, it's not made in India. It doesn't India. matter. It had the name Indian for some reason. So it tastes like an Indian beer. Well, I told you, I I, I decided I hate it. I said this. Sucks. I just tried it. It tasted exactly as I knew it would taste. It tasted just like another Indian beer I had. It's very, it's, very it's skunky, all, musky, 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 musky. It's horrible. You mean like like the mildew? I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, God, it's horrible. But I drank it because it was only 12 ounces. We're, talk, we're, we're talking about Dogfish Head India Pale Ale. It's horrible. The company's called Dogfish Head. It was horrible. The the brewery is like in... Like my face when I get up in the morning. The, the, oh, I, still, I look good. The brewery's in M.E. Is that Maine? You gotta come, what? M.E. Uh, is Maine. Is Maine. You gotta okay. come up for air? I don't think she, I don't think she's breathing. Are you breathing? I am. I'm not trying to be critical, but why do you eat one fry at a time? I grab like, you know. No, she wants to be here for a while. It's because of you, dear. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Tell him. Because Jimmy's here, right? That's a that's a lovely thought. Huh? Come on, Ali. That's a lovely I thought. Eat you got Zizo? I eat so sometimes. Meaning you eat fast sometimes? Okay. I think I saw that on the news, that video. All right, what do you got, Jimmy? Now, here we go. Let me steady, man. God, the... I wouldn't have that over your finger like that. Oh, no, I got to do it with this. Okay. Were those uh, Indians that own Jersey Dollar, were they showing contempt for their customers by shutting the central air conditioning off? Oh, it's not shy about answering that. I'm going to have a cigarette. You want, a, you want an ice cream? Okay. Man, are you a fucking damn pig. Holy <laughs> maggot. Oh. Can you wait till I does it have? Does have something to do with the third what world? Do you want? They only have one. Well, yeah, that's all you have. That's all they have. Yeah. Well, they told you coming in that you no more flavors. Does it have something to do with the third, the third world, the third world culture mentality that they they kept? They show contempt for the customers by shutting off the central air conditioning. And opening the two front doors, yes. You're ready now, are you? Yeah, I'm ready. You, 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 you just want to see all that, you just want to see all that cream all over her lips. That's what it is. Now, William, William Morrow, he certainly is a character, isn't he? This guy. No, 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 not Ray. That lunatic talking about Billy. His name is Morrow. No, this guy is William Morrow. Billy. His last name is Morrow. Morrow. He's a character, isn't he? Yeah. Morrow is his last name. Morrow. M O R R O W. He's a character, isn't he? <laughs> He's entertaining, though. Yeah. You know, I've known him for like uh, 35 years, I think. It's a long time. Yeah. Since I think I, I met him in the early 1980s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
it's amazing how, you know, I mean, we fight a lot, but we agree a lot, too. S same thing with my, uh, my, my late uh, co-host when I, I used to do talk shows with him. We, we agreed a lot, but we also once in a while had terrible arguments because, you know, he had some ideas of his own that... No, no, thank you. Okay, round one. It is, uh, what day is it today? Two, it is uh, Maniacal, Maniacal Tuesday Madness. Oh, oh, here we go. I thought you were having a, a smoke. <laughs> is it for her or could they put more on that for her Man maniacal tuesday madness because yesterday was monday so it can't be monday look at that look holy moly well, we're good for five more minutes. We will hear from her. <laughs> oh my God. Five. Now your mouth is really stuffed. I wonder why he's stuffing you with so much food. Oh, so you don't talk, so he doesn't have to hear you. Isn't it? He has an ulterior motive, right? I know. Well, I got news for him. When he comes in, that ice cream is probably going to be finished. <laughs> now that guy, that guy Ray, he's out to lunch. He's seriously, he's a loony to me. He's a loony to He he's a loony, he's loony man. I'm surprised he's got a wife at home. Maybe his wife is just like him. You never know. Oh gosh. All right, let me go. Uh, I'm tired already, though. Fat Foot Flu. Now, how did that song go? Fat, flat Foot Floozy with the Floy Floy? Well, I had uh, the respect of my men. IBM, I had the respect of my men. I lost three pounds. Because, because they're your men. We're happy with your manager. Well, manager. You can't teach good management. I think either it's like sports, you're either natural or you're not. Like you can't you can't make an Earl Weaver. You can't make a Sparky Anderson. You can't teach them how to be cranky and this and that. The nurse you know. said I lost three pounds, Bill. Dig a dump. What? Must have, take a dump? Must have been your dump. <laughs> Maybe your your log was four pounds, who knows? No. But anyway, I think there is something called natural born talent, natural born abilities. Well, yeah, it's just like some people attract other people. It's called charisma. I can't go out alone over here at the hotel and just have a cigarette. I want to be left alone so much. Somebody always comes over once in a while. That's because you know, it's human nature. I met a nice pilot the other night, a real nice guy. I met a wonderful girl from Arkansas. We talked for three nights in a row. I saw her all the time. Oh, from Arkansas, yeah, really? Told, so many different people I've met over there. But that's fascinating, though. Meeting different people from different I, parts of the oh, country. Alabama. No. Is she good looking? The Arkansas yeah, very, very. I oh, found there one you thing go. Out. People are the same. You know, we have fun. But you could have laid pipe. You could lay pipes stay in there too. You meet girls and take them to your room. Oh, dear, no. I, well, well, that's what the no, that's no. what the peg is meant for. I said the the sausage. No, I said, no. Sometimes just being a man and you want to sit and talk to people. And that's it. Pla platonic conversation. Just talk. That's all I want. No. Well, I wore a different pair of shoes today, though. Well, at least you didn't wear bedroom slippers for a change. <laughs> Those bedroom sisters, my sister-in-law bought, bought at Burlington and I returned Burlington, for a black huh? pair. And Burlington has defective, defective stuff. They only lasted from December till June and then they fell apart. Well, Whoa. let me ask you a question. Aren't those shoes a little too fancy for this place? 
I know, but Bill says I'm always wearing the same old stuff, so I put on a different shirt and a different pair of shoes. And don't you feel different? And you feel better? the pants. Don't you feel better? Well, she is dressed. She is dolled up. Don't you feel better? A little bit, yeah. Don't you feel different? You gotta help people. You can't uh, always make fun of them and make jokes. You gotta be honest. You know, that's why I was talking to people today. I said, people just don't get it. Like my dad, again, always, it all reverts back to my dad. I don't get the fact that you don't bring girls to your hotel you just, room. You just can't get through to people. You know? He so, said he don't get it that Because he doesn't get it. I really don't get it that he chooses to be celibate. I celibate. don't get it. Sometimes you've had so much. You're sick of it. You're tired of it. Way back in the 70s, late late 70s, early 80s, I had trouble maintaining an erection. I went to a doctor. He said, you know what your problem is? You're worn out. So I'm tired. Or maybe you could be bored too. Well, it, I find it very boring as well. You get tired. Not yeah. everything is sex, only for the sex is for the desperate. And you know those who need it so for the desperate. Well those that get a yeah, well unless you have the right partner. My aunt, no, you're full of shit. No. You get tired. You get worn out. You say, I just I don't want to be bothered. You know what? You know what I I I'm gonna defend what he just said. You know what might cause it to? Everybody is so per, per, critical of performance nowadays. They can't wait to Talk to their girlfriend. Well, Women can't well, wait to talk to their girlfriends too. and let's gossip about performance. Most people are not good performers. They That's true. Big talkers. That's true. That's true. <laughs> They're big. Oh, I didn't. No, but like women that. gossip about you the guys they, they're you know, dating. You know what I hear? I, I understand. I that's hear not stuff good. That's bad. Yeah, you make some nonsense, Jimmy. Please give it. No, a they up. do it. You ever hear Sex in the City? No. They did. All they did was women don't gossip about the guys they date. No. They don't do that. Women are worse than men. When you hear these things oh, like Trump, you disagree with me. You're not gonna, Jimmy. You're going. Oh, please give it a rest. When no. You hear these, I'm criticizing when, women. When you hear these guys talk, and it's all bullshit. I hear a few like Trump. Yeah, yeah, it's all the guys. Oh, yeah, okay. And, okay. Jimmy. Okay, okay, it's all the men's fault. Also. What are you on today? Caffeine yeah. or what? Women are always innocent. Yeah. Some people are not good performers. They're not. <clears throat> when Trump and all this on the bus with Billy Bush said it was locker room talk, no, it wasn't. I played sports, thir football, 37 years. How many locker rooms do you think I was in? You never heard talk like that. I sat there at home and said, oh, it's not. What kind of pussy ass guys? Guys didn't come in there. I like this, I bet. That, that's what guys do Most in the guys, locker room. You want to make a bet? How do you They know? brag and they get macho. You want to make a bet? Because of testosterone. You want to make a bet? They don't talk that way? No. Are you not talking really. about professional locker room or locker a regular room. gym? Any. High school one up. What, are they gay? No. They're not gay. They were nice gentlemen and men. We All were right. athletes. Okay. We didn't have to bribe them. But they were heterosexual. See? They were heterosexual. Yeah. You, Mr. Non-Athlete, you wouldn't have any idea. I'm, I'm asking you, they were heterosexual athletes? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. That's my whole point. Which means straight to the, to the lay person. Now, if you'd let me finish. Go ahead. Tease Jimmy, you're wound up today. Nobody talked like that. Nobody. But the ones that aren't athletes are talking. They're big talkers. Yak, yak, yak. Which means they're doing nothing. <laughs> Nobody in the locker I rooms are... No I locker room. they're doing, Bill. No locker room I was in you ever heard this. Well, a significant other should be respected. People talk. That's what, how I feel. <laughs> but I will say that I think the women are worse than the men. The women talk. The men really don't, for the most part. <laughs> That's what I said before, but he didn't want me to say it because it wasn't William's voice I heard being you, broadcast. I heard you say it, and I was trying to get to it. But oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm Jimmy, sorry. Jimmy, you've got that one centered. You're wound up today. I'm sorry. Maybe it's the caffeine. I think so. Calm down, please. Gotcha. But, you know, these guys, know they don't... In fact, I, in, fact, in fact, I will tell you another thing. The women are asking other women too many questions. No, in That's fact, another thing, I'll, I'll, another thing I'll tell you. Women are asking me, how's the guy? And Eileen, give it, Eileen, give it a rest. Shut nosy. up. They're nosy, Eileen. They're nosy. Uh, in fact, Some most... In fact, I will tell you on all the teams I was on, 37 years ago in football, you hardly heard any swearing, too. You don't hear guys, yeah, you hear occasionally, but not a lot. My brother, people, people yeah. have the wrong idea about athletes. 
You know who has the wrong idea? Amateurs. Non-athletes that know nothing about sports, never played, never on the sideline, never in a huddle, never in a dugout, whatever. They have no clue what's going on. No clues. And then again, my team's always took on my personality because I was always captain, I guess, being cool, but whatever. And I, I, I wouldn't tolerate bullshit. And I had more players from other teams. God, please trade for me. You guys have so much fun. Well, it is they weren't unfair. happy with their team. They were not happy with their teams. They saw what my teams were like. They wanted to be on our team. You had a good team, right? We always had good teams. <clears throat> but but, you, but yeah. where does it come from? It's like management, trickle down effect. What you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate. Well, it is I uncomfortable. Had some, I, had some, I had very few assholes. Only a few. You said? Very few. And, okay, uh, you gotta go to the bathroom, Bill. Well, well it is uncomfortable to be around people that curse all the time. To be honest with you, it is very uncomfortable. Oh, I had some people that tried to. They tried to be this, and I said, "You've got to shut up." Tragedy. I said, "You just got to shut up." Mm -hmm. Yo, that's yeah. like that's a ghetto mentality, you know, like uh, people that got. Well, these are questions you should be asking us. The unexperienced who've never been through it are the ones who seem to always know it all, aren't they? Well, if you tell me what to ask, I'll do it. There you go, Jimmy. Here, let me tell me what to, to ask, and I'll ask it. Well, what do you want? I've got it already. Go ahead. And oh, tell all me. right. Okay. What is it? I don't know anything you want me to ask. Well, you should tell me. I, I thought you had. A no, question. you said you said I should be. Do, I I These should be quite, asking. Yeah, question. What I just told her. I just gave her a seminar. I bet you it would be Joseph's thing to death, and I just gave it to her. Could you imagine her going over there talking to him? Well, that'll be that's, that'll be entertaining as well. Though. Most people, the vast majority of people, just don't have a clue what an athlete truly, a truly good athlete goes through, do they? Look at that. Yeah, I got one. Did my teams take on my personality and I made it fun for them? There you go, Jimmy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, what is it? I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, I'll do a question. Oh, okay. all right. <laughs> it really is. Well, mine goes clockwise, go too. So, you know, mine swings yeah, clockwise. Right, question? Uh, my question is this. Professional athletes, are they under the stress that their career could end at any given time? Oh, hell yes. Any injury could destroy anything. Okay. Are professional athletes under the stress and duress that their professional career could end at any time? I mean, that's obvious. You know, my God. Injury? Somebody beats you out? Yeah. yeah, but some of them piss some of them the younger ones. But the younger the younger professional athletes, even though they wor they worry about their career ending, do they piss their money away often? Oh, we call that too. Yes. My God. Yeah, but these guys only look, need these big look. mansions of seven, eight cars. See, Mike, look at that friggin' clockwise swing, man. Finally. Yeah, they they do piss their money, and this this is usually the younger gen <laughs> the younger generation professional athlete, right? Yeah, they gotta have the bling. They gotta have the, they gotta have the mansion. You look like shit. The uh, sports no, I'm cars. I'm kidding you. I'm teasing you. No. No, you don't. You look fine. Who you want to meet her? Oh, come on over. Is this millennial generation probably the worst in the history of mankind? No, but most people don't have a yes. clue what athletes go through. Yes. Because really we're living in... Is that because we're living in the end times? I tell people you have no clues. Come into the huddle for one series. Yes. We've had new teammates join in, get to huddle like, what the hell are you saying? We are, we are living in the end of days. I don't know. Because the engine blew and they they put a rebuilt engine in there. So is this I this because right human race <laughs> is becoming like Satan, right now, you know? full of vanity and selfishness and no. greed? Well, hell, I don't know. What am I, a troubleshooter? How do I know how an engine blew? It just went crap. That's right. Crapped e out. Evil forces are affecting today's society. 
Yeah, negative energy. Yeah, that's why people are so selfish and greedy and do do wicked things. But I'll tell you, I had some of the best receivers. I think about some of these guys uh, every day. Paul, Jimmy. Of course, there's well, negative forces. It's because they eat my chicken. Unseen forces, unseen evil forces. What does unseen mean? Demons. You want to be? You want? You want me to tell you the truth? Demons will will surround you. And well, how do you think people? How do you think? How do you think? How do you think, how do you think people overdose on drugs? And how do you think Anthony Bourdain hung himself? All, all out, of, out of the clear blue sky, he says, "Oops! Oh, it's a nice day to hang myself." Evil forces will no over a stupid girl. They say, "Oh, that's a dumb reason to kill yourself." Not to kill you. You could be you could be depressed as all hell, but I don't kill you know. No, yeah. depression. I've never had depression, but I've seen interviews with people that like Rod Steiger and others that have had depression. And they broke down and talking about crimes. You have no idea what it feels like until you experience it. Yeah. So I'm not going to criticize like you're no. trying to do. I will not. My, my, until my, you, so I cannot imagine what it must my, be like. My, I've never had depression. I have, yes, like any, but any human, I have my sad and down moments, but not depression. Yeah. My doctor says. There's a difference. Just like you have with mental, mental illness, you have stages too, like senility, dementia, Alzheimer's. Yeah, all Schizophrenia. Whatever. Well, that's a whole different ball yeah. game. Well, my doctor says depression will make somebody feel exhausted all the time. Oh, it does everything. You can't get out of bed. It's got to be to me, Jimmy. Hey, my... you, had a, you had a nervous breakdown, right? I have got a lot of them, though. Well, how many? I think six, at least seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. What was wrong? Seven? What's wrong? A lot of stress, you know? But seven nervous breakdowns. Yikes. Yo, that's oh, pretty. Oh, Eileen, that's something wrong. That's there. severe. That's seven, come on. Hey, come I on. talk to my ex-girlfriend every day and night. You know what I mean? So when, when all of a sudden your life changes, totally drastically cut. I, I feel at least four, I think. You feel abandoned. You feel at abandoned. Least four you've had? Are these four? Now it went to four. I thought it was seven. Our friend here at McDonald's, Eileen, has she had at least four nervous breakdowns? Yes. I didn't lie, Bill. I didn't say you lied. I didn't say that. That that usually means a person is hospitalized. Is that true? Yeah. Usually. Okay. So they lock you up for quite a long time. What? So they lock you up for quite a long time. Yeah. You're on medication. So special medications. A lot of medications. Has Arlene had five nervous breaks? A lot of medications. Why? Why so much? As Arlene had six nervous breakdowns. Life is life is a struggle, man. Look at that. No, no. So I guess it was five. You had five. You had five. But I, but I, but I bet you. Seats ringing no for six. But I bet I bet you qualify for a lot of food stamps. You should really go to Rochelle Park. They're not giving us. They're giving me a hard time, yeah. Well, Jimmy, come on, come on. How could they give her a hard what time? They're giving him fifteen dollars. Come on. Yes. Yeah, but okay. she's li she might be living on a fixed income. Well, you know, what are you living on? A fixed of money? income. A fixed like, income. You know, there you go. Well, it doesn't hurt to go. She drives. Down to fifteen dollars. It doesn't come hurt on. to try. Just try. I know a lot of people that can't get it, Jimmy. They just can't get it, yeah. Other people can get it though, and some people can't get it to me. They tell me better people want to give it to me at all, Jimmy. They tell me. Why do you say my name me. after every sentence? Oh. Why do you say that? Why do you ask that, Jimmy? They tell me I should be collecting, Jimmy. What's the matter, Jimmy? They, wait, they told you you shouldn't be collecting? Why do you say that, Jimmy? That's because the Republicans want to kill off the poor. I've got to be honest. Why do you think that is, Jimmy? There is a. <laughs> There is a there is a <laughs> a depopulation plan by the elitists. You know what the elitist is? The oligarch. 
the top 2% of the whole world of richest I'll be people, back. I'm gonna have a they want to kill off the poor. I'll be right back. That's why they, they're denying you, you what you, what is rightfully I'm not yours. I'm just having a cigarette. I'll come out. What? Stay with Eileen. Sit here and talk. Honestly, I'll be back. that's the reason why. I'll be back. No, but she, yeah, but I'm getting, I'm getting too deep. She might not be able to. The richest people in the world want to kill off, want to kill off the poor because they don't want to pay any taxes because they're so greedy and stingy. Perfectly honest with you. Stingy meaning cheats, right? Cheat, stingy, greedy. Yeah, that's why they they cut. Stingy means cheap. Right? Yeah, cheap. No, I mean, well, it's cheap when it comes to other people. It's, it's selfishness. It's selfishness combined with a, a greed. You know, like uh, let's say let's say I was rich, and I I I was rich and I didn't want to buy you anything. Now, by rights, if I was rich, I should be able to buy you anything you want here. But if I don't do it, that would make me a stingy person. That's your brother. But does he have money? But does he have money? Then why doesn't he help you? Oh, she's got him by the nose. So in other words, she's she's like my brother's wife. She's the boss. Yeah, she is the boss. She wears the pantaloons in the family. She wears the pants. Oh, so he's a he might be afraid of her. He is afraid of her. So she might be in control of him. She controls. Yeah, she is the control. So 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 if your brother helped you, she would get jealous and give him a hard time. She don't allow him to help me. Ah, now you know. She tells him you can't help her. You see, you know, this is a pattern. You're not the only one saying this. My brother's in this situation. My uh, my friend Brian Slate, his ex-wife, did that to him. There is, There are people, there are women out there that when they get in a relationship or married, they become control freaks. They have, they're on a power trip. Like Mark Zuckerberg of uh, Facebook. He's a, He's a little skinny geek with a big nose it's on a power trip you know he's a, he's a Jew actually he's on a power trip Mark Zuckerberg no Mark Zuckerberg is just on a power trip but what I'm saying is there are women who have to be in control of their men now your brother that's your brother your blood relative he has money he should help you that's interesting. I don't get a penny off really? I mean, he takes you know, Eileen just enlightened me to something. Her brother has money, but he he refuses. He he cannot help her because his wife gets jealous and won't allow it. He, he, she's a, she, she's a control freak. Does that sound familiar to you? The women that are control freaks. When they when they Eileen's get, brother. Eileen's brother's wife a control freak. Yes. We told you I'm not lying. <laughs> and well, the, we told you this doesn't lie either, Eileen. And does his brother yeah, have money? This fake thing, huh? Does Does Eileen's bro can Eileen's brother afford to help his sister Eileen? Can Eileen's brother afford to help his sister Eileen? No. He can't? Is, is it because his wife takes all the money? <laughs> Does Eileen's brother have that much money? No. Eileen just told me, Eileen just told me he's, he, he's, he's loaded. He's, he's, he's not, he's not. Maybe his wife has control over all the money. She likes to spend money. Oh, there you go. Does Eileen's brother's wife is she controlling all the money? Like my brother's wife. No. So something's wrong with this. Something's wrong with Eileen's story. Oh. But but the pendulum is saying no, that saying no. no. No, he doesn't have the money to hold on to. Is Eileen uh, exaggerating? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thunder Lakes and Metro North on the computer. You'll find out. What is his wife? Does Kate? Eileen's brother is his make wife big money? He does. That's wrong. If it's the same as he does. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that swing, baby. Look at that swing, baby. Does Eileen have a very wild imagination? Choo choo Charlie. That thing is wrong because my brother makes big money. He goes away, takes vacations two times a year. Well, yes, wild imagination. Yeah. So he could he could help his sister out. He can help me. I know he can. That just refuses to let him help. Yeah, but it also said he didn't steal your money when you were accusing but him of it, stealing is, your money. Is it his wife? And I, you said yeah, but somebody did. Is it his no, wife? That's a counselor said maybe somebody else did, but I know he's been taken. Another people. Oh, is it his wife's fault or his is fault or both? Brother breaking they, into, is Eileen's brother breaking into her apartment and stealing her money? Let him take it. Give me a penny. Jimmy, Jimmy. But is it all her Jimmy, fault? Jimmy, Look at that. Your brother is not breaking into your apartment well, stealing your money. you'll find out if you ever get to heaven, Bill. Then you'll find well, out. That's not the heaven crap. Well, if you get to heaven. Is Eileen ma imagine, imagining stuff believing there's a heaven? You gotta go somewhere, Bill. You're either gonna go to heaven, hell, or. But well, it's not heaven as you think with the God. It's alien in dimensions, Eileen. Well, how uh, come me and Billy, me and Billy are honest when we tell people things? I mean, you know, you have gotta be straight. I know my brother makes eighty thousand dollars a year. Why does he have a nice house in Provo? How can he afford to? And he's coming out or? bragging to you. I make eighty thousand a year. You he's coming out bragging to you about that. He knows he makes that much money. You don't make eighty thousand, well, well, and Jimmy don't no, make so eighty thousand. No, I wish. Why? Well, I wish I did. I, I wish I did too. You don't live in a nice house in Provo, but you don't take two vacations a year. Why don't you ask your brother why he's not helping you? She, he just refuses to because she won't let him help me. But does she? Does he give? Does he give the reason that it's his wife? Because Eileen's brother. He won't admit to the wife. He won't admit a, can you be quiet for a minute? He won't admit to. Is Eileen's brother refusing to help her because of his wife? Well, so yes. I told you I'm not lying. That's one. Okay, so that's one. I'm not lying. But he doesn't make the eighty either. Well, I don't know if it's any. We're talking oh, about I, I, I can't else. get through. Help me, help me. Oh, help. My nudge. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting all look, discombobulated by this. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.